Hi everyone! Have you ever thought about what happens with your body, senses and mind while you're sleeping? Many of you will say that all the parts of our bodies are resting, regaining strength and so on. Of course it's true, but it's just not that simple. Some of you might think about snoring, but this is not the only curious and funny thing that happens while we're asleep. We really wanted to know more about it, so today we're going to tell you some interesting, useful and even terrifying things that'll happen to us while we're sleeping. Let's get it on. Falling Most likely you've had a sudden feeling of falling that wakes you up when you're trying to fall asleep. Actually, it's not a dream about falling down, as you might think, it's a physical sensation together with a hallucination. Don't giggle, it's not what you're thinking about. It's just a brain reaction to a wrong perception of the data. You have this falling sensation because your brain is already asleep, while your body is still awake. It happens sometimes when you're exhausted or you've had a stressful day, or you just haven't slept in two days. In this case, the brain doesn't await your body and falls asleep as soon as you touch the pillow. By the way, there's another syndrome caused by fatigue known as the exploding head syndrome. It's when you suddenly wake up because of a loud sound or a flash of light in your eyes. Not the most pleasant thing, don't you think? One can even start stammering after this. If it happens to you too frequently, you can blame it on your brain that it's falling asleep before your body does, or blame yourself because you have to sleep instead of sitting in front of the computer all night. Sleep paralysis. And now it's time for something even scarier than falling down from a height. Imagine this situation. You kind of wake up. You want to get up and go to the bathroom or to the kitchen and get some water. And then you suddenly realize you can't move. How is that even possible, you might think, if I'm awake? Furthermore, you see all the things around you, hear all the sounds and feel all the smells. Some people suffering from this weird syndrome only feel the paralysis, but others even feel like they can't breathe and some scary creature is sitting on their chest, trying to strangle them and take their soul away. <clears throat> Sorry, we got uh, distracted for a moment. So, you can have this horrible feeling when you're falling asleep or waking up, when your body is still sleeping but your brain is not. According to scientists, from 5 to 8% of all people have had this sensation at least once. It is caused by the same companions of the best students and workers of the year, stress and sleep deprivation. The sleep paralysis itself is freaking scary, but at least it's not dangerous. But if you really don't want to feel it, we recommend you to stick to your sleeping schedule and try not to sleep lying on your back. People usually suffer from sleep paralysis while in this position. Sleepwalking The last part was about a pretty harmless thing, but somnambulism can be very dangerous. While sleepwalking, you can easily stumble over something, fall out of a window, raid the fridge, get out of your house and even start driving your car. The most curious part is that you can do a lot of stuff during the night, but when you wake up, you most definitely won't remember any of it. You will start sleepwalking if you wake up enough to activate your body, but not your brain. So if you sleep over at your friend's house and see him sneaking up on you and not answering your questions, don't freak out. He's just having a somnambulism attack. It can take from several minutes up to an hour. And by the way, if you feel too scared, you can hide under the bed and wait in another room. You must never wake up the poor sleepwalker because it can be too stressful for him and he can end up having psychological trauma. Sleep talking. In some way, this phenomena is similar to the last one, but in this case, instead of doing something, people say all kinds of stuff in their sleep, from poems to insults. If you happen to witness something like this, don't wake up the talker to tell them what you really think of them, because they don't mean to do it. Almost always, this activity happens in the first two hours after falling asleep, when the body is already in the deep phase sleep, while the muscles have enough strength to reflect the content of the dreams and the emotions from that day. But if you try to pull out some secrets from the talker, you probably won't be able to pull it off. Usually this sudden talking lasts for no longer than 30 seconds and we doubt someone can tell you enough in that time. Recurring dreams do you happen to see the same dream over and over again? 
Usually these dreams are easy to remember because they're really colorful and emotional. But why does it happen? Why can't our brain think of something new while we're in sleepy land? Actually, these dreams are really important to us. They warn us that we have some unfinished business or attract our attention to some events in real life that we can't see for some reason. Also, they can be caused by a problem you're stuck on and don't know what to do with. We're right, aren't we? Then, before you go to sleep the next time, try to think about your problem and maybe you'll come up with a solution. And then you'll have some new recurring dream. Your nose is sleeping too. People who love to sleep often say, I won't wake up even if you shoot cannons at me. But actually, loud and sudden noises like your neighbors drilling the wall in the morning or celebrating something at night can pull out any person from even the deepest sleep. By the way, alarm clocks work based on the same principle. But now we're gonna talk about an organ that's impossible to wake up. That's right, your nose. Even the densest smells cannot wake it up, although your brain does process them. It happens because the information collected by your olfactory is fusing with the image from your dream. So if you're snoozing while your parents are making a delicious breakfast, you probably will eat something nice in your dream too. But not even the disgusting smell of a rotten egg or the pleasant smell of mint can wake up a person sleeping. On one hand, it sounds great and useful, but on the other hand, this is also the reason of a great percentage of deaths during fires. Sleepy Eyes if you think that your eyes doze off along with your nose, you are in the wrong. They do rest, but at the same time, they're still moving. And by the way, this is how you can define the sleep phase. When a person falls asleep, the eyes roll up, protecting the retina from the light. In the deep sleep phase, the eyeballs move slowly under the lid because of an active flow of the blood to the muscles and internal organs. In the fast sleep phase, the blood flows to the brain, activating the thought process and making us see colorful dreams, and the eyes move according to them. These processes are the same for humans and animals. Don't believe us? Then look at your cat while it's sleeping, and you'll see in which direction the mouse in its dream was running. Eternal Youth if you're familiar with the name of Sophia Loren, you probably know that this Italian beauty still looks extraordinarily pretty for her age. When journalists asked her about her secret of eternal youth, she always says it was just because of healthy sleep. And it seems like the actress didn't lie. According to scientists, when you sleep, the temperature of your body and blood pressure get low, and the heart relaxes and recovers. Your body is practically recharging from the bed in order to work the next day. Besides, when we sleep, our organism produces collagen and protein, which strengthen the vessels and make your skin more elastic. So after a long and healthy sleep, you don't need some cream with special particles of something difficult to pronounce, because your body rejuvenates itself. It means you can regenerate every day, like a superhero. During your sleep, the body tissues get renewed, the oxygen metabolism increases, the toxins get removed. In other words, pure magic. And you don't even have to wave your magic stick or swallow bitter potions from cooked frogs. You just have to go to sleep in time and get yourself a comfortable pillow. Growing up in your sleep. You've probably heard your mom or your granny say that if you fly in your sleep, it means you're growing up. However, you don't really need to fly to grow up a little. We're about to reveal a secret to you. The next time you're ready to go to bed, measure your height and then repeat the procedure in the morning. We promise you'll be surprised, but don't get your hopes up. It won't be more than half an inch. It happens because when you fall asleep, your invertebral discs don't get the kind of pressure they get during the day, so they stretch out and need more room. It makes your spinal columns straighten, but unfortunately, not for a long time. In the afternoon, you will have the same height again and it happens like this every day. Brain work. If you think your brain stops functioning at night, well, stop thinking that because this busy bee doesn't ever stop for a second. It keeps controlling all the processes in your body, but in a slightly different mode. Once you're asleep, your brain cells switch to a more peaceful pace. Step by step, they process all the information you got during the day and then distribute the data into the right sections of your brain using little shelves in your head. And this happens in your brain every night. Now imagine the consequences of constant 
sleep deprivation. The first victim is obviously the memory. The person starts mixing up different facts and keeps forgetting the most important things. But if you still doubt whether a good, healthy sleep is that important, here's another proof. Recently, a group of German scientists conducted a really interesting experiment. They asked a group of volunteers to solve 100 mathematical problems. When the first half of the test was done, one part of the group went to sleep, while the other part kept working on their problems. In the end, the ones that got some sleep did much better work. So if you still believe it's a great idea not to sleep at all before an important exam, think twice before you torture your brain like this. Now tell us, how often do you get enough sleep? If you always feel like you could use some more sleep, like us and give us a thumbs up. Do you like cool and entertaining experiments? Then you have to check out this channel. There you'll find a bunch of useful life hacks and a lot of cool homemade stuff that will definitely catch your attention. Subscribe and learn new tricks to surprise your friends. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.